everyone, and in today's video we're going to be looking at ChatGPT Search, which is the new feature introduced by ChatGPT that allows you to search the web and gives you quick up-to-date answers as well as links to reliable sources. So what we're going to be doing today is exploring seven powerful prompts that will make it easy to gather the latest trends, find relevant statistics and developments in your field. So let's get started. So to enable ChatGPT's web search, you have to start off by clicking on that small globe and you'll see that a message comes up that says search the web. So we're going to click on that. And once you click on that, you'll see that a number of trending topics start to appear. So what you will do here is once we've clicked on that, we can then start adding our first prompt. So the first prompt that we're going to be adding here is what are the emerging trends and latest news on? And then you can add your topic and I'll leave you this prompt in the description below. So for example, I'm going to add here news on AI in healthcare. So what are the emerging trends and latest news on AI in healthcare? Provide credible sources and then we're going to enter that. And you'll see now that it tells us that it's searching the web and it comes back with the response. And under each response, you will see that it's got the source where it's extracted that information from. So we've got McKinsey here and it does that for every part of the response. And we can check the sources to make sure they're credible sources by clicking on them. So if I click on the first one by McKinsey, you can see that you'll see that it takes me to the actual web page and it's the accurate one. It tells me about the latest in healthcare. And if I scroll down, I'll see a sources button here at the bottom. And if I click on it, what it will do is it will open the different sources here on the side panel so I can see all the different sources that it's extracted the information from. You'll see that it slightly resembles what you get with perplexity in terms of looking at the sources. You can be assured that the information that's coming out from ChatGPT using the search feature is accurate and is based on real reliable sources. So the next prompt is a really useful one if you're just starting a new field and you want to know who are the leading experts and influential writers in that field. So I'm going to add a prompt here that says, who are the leading experts in graduate employability and what are their most recent contributions? Please provide the response in an organized format with the expert's name and affiliation, key focus area or research topic, notable recent publications or projects, practical implications or impact of their work. Again, I'm going to make sure I select the search feature and then I'm going to enter that. And what you'll see is that it will come back with the key influential experts in that field. So for example, for graduate employability, we've got Michael Tomlinson, who is a leading expert and writer in graduate employability. And it's given us the affiliation as we asked it to. So we've got University of Southampton in the UK. It's given us the key focus area. It's given us some of the notable recent publications that he's written. And we have a link to that as well if we want to go and explore that. So if I open the link, I've got graduate employability in context, theory, research and debate. And I'll see that it's been written by Tomlinson. So this is a really good way to get an overview of the key influential people in your field. And I've got Denise Jackson. Again, I've got the link to the work that she's written and again I can check that and you'll see that it's by Jackson so getting really reliable sources and then I can keep on going through the different people and checking out their work and what you can do is that say you wanted more than five people you can just specify a list of 10 people for example and you can start exploring their work and looking at related works. Okay, so the third prompt that we're going to be using is again very useful and that's going to be helping us to find the key statistics around a certain topic. So I'm going to add a prompt here that says, what are the latest statistics on AI usage? Can you provide references to support these numbers? Okay, so we can see that it's come back with a number of statistics. So we've got global AI adoption rates and we can see also that it's extremely recent. So as of early 2024, 72% of organizations have adopted AI in at least one business function. If we look at the source, we've got again, a McKinsey source that supports this. And let's see if we can find the actual statistic that it's used. So we're just gonna search in the page for the number 72. And I can see here that it says, this year, the survey finds that adoption has jumped to 72%. We can actually see that it's extracting reliable information from the web page. And then I've got other statistics here. We've got generative AI use. 65% of organizations are regularly using generative AI. And I think I saw that statistic at the top of the page as well. So we've got 65% here and so on for different statistics that it's come back with. So again, if you're looking to uh, supplement your presentations, your research with statistics, this is 
is an extremely useful prompt to use. So this next prompt is going to be very helpful for anyone who's doing a literature review or trying to find influential articles in their field. So I'm going to add a prompt here that says, what are the most influential scholarly articles on graduate employability? And you'll see it comes back with a number of articles that are some of the most influential in the field. So I've got Graduate Employability, a review of conceptual and empirical themes by Michael Tomlinson. And again, I've got the link to that if I want to go and explore that article. And it's given me a number of articles here, one by Jackson and Bridgestock, another really influential article, another one by Cheng. So this is one way that will help you just to get that initial understanding of your field by exploring key influential works before you start getting in depth in that field. So the next problem that we're going to be using can help you identify some latest breakthroughs or advancements in your field. So I'm just going to add a prompt here that says, can you identify recent breakthroughs or advancements in AI and healthcare? Okay, and you can see that it's come back with a number of advancements. We've got AI-driven diagnostics, and I'm, again, we've got the source where it's extracted that information from. And then I can go through all these different options and look at the sources as well and just make sure that I'm happy with the information. And again, if we evaluate these sources, we'll find that, again, they're quite, they're very recent. So I know that I'm getting accurate recent information. Okay, so the next prompt, again, is extremely useful if you're working on presentations or research and you want to show real-life case study examples that you can use in your work. So I'm going to add a prompt here that says, what are some case studies that highlight the impact of AI on healthcare? Include diverse perspectives. Okay, you can see that it's come back with a number of case studies that I'd be able to use. For example, Antiverse, an AI-driven biotech startup partnered with Japan's Nixera to develop new drugs using AI-designed antibodies. So I can then use that under AI and drug discovery. I've got another one here about Behold AI, which developed an AI algorithm, Red Dot, to detect lung cancer. So again, an interesting one if I wanted to talk about AI and medical imaging. And you can specify, you know, I've, I've been very general in my prompt with saying case studies that highlight the impact of AI in healthcare, but you can specify case studies in any of these subfields as well. And the great thing about this is that, again, I've got all the references and I can go into the references and read up more about the case study if I wanted more in-depth information. So the last prompt we're going to be looking at today, and this is really helpful as well if you're writing an article or a research or a study, and you want to have a reference to a specific statement, and you can ask ChatGPT Search to provide you with that statement. So for example, I'm going to add a prompt here that says, give me a scholarly reference for this statement. The integration of AI across various industries has impacted the employment in many fields. So it's a, just a general statement, and I want to add references that support it. Okay, so now it's given me a source from OECD that says the integration of artificial intelligence across various industries has significantly impacted employment in numerous fields. Okay, so almost exactly what I wrote uh, in my statement. A comprehensive literature review by the OECD examines the effects of AI on the labor market, including employment and wages, job transformation, skill requirements, and the work environment. So giving me even more information about the different areas that it has impacted and the effects that it's had. I've got the sources here on the side so I can actually go to the search result and I can check that the source is accurate. I can actually start to go in more depth uh, reading the source if I wanted to or I can just use that source as supporting information to the statement that I have. And can you just imagine this will make you so much more efficient when you've read the statement before you know that there's an impact but you just need to support your answer with a source and you can get chat GPT search to do that for you. So I hope you found these seven prompts useful. I hope you use them with chat GPT search and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.